Welcome back to another episode of Happy Go Lucky B-Hole Reviews. Today we will be talking about a game I've been waiting for since 1995, Streets of Rage 4. There have been talks in the past about a 3D version eventually being renamed to Fighting Force since Sega couldn't agree with Eidos, but in the end, in the very long end, 15 years, I'd say they made the right choice. Developed by Dotemu and Lizard Crush, here comes the best side-scrolling game I have ever played. Released on April 30th on PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One, each version is the same with very few differences. The Xbox One Game Pass subscribers, you are in luck, as it's on its list from day one. Limited Run will be making physical copies for those who order them only for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. The game takes place 10 years after the events of Streets of Rage 3, where criminal mastermind Mr. X was finally defeated. Peace is thought throughout the city until the children, yes you heard me right, the children of Mr. X bring back corruption and chaos once again. The Y-Twins need to be brought down and only Axel Stone, Blaze Fielding, Adam Hunter, Cherry Hunter, and Floyd Ayala can take justice into their own hands in battling the evil twins. For the story, well, it's what you would expect from Streets of Rage from 1 through 3, so I'm not surprised. The meat of the game is the action. The game can be played 4-player co-op, but only locally. Unfortunately, with the conditions we are right now, I was unable to test that option. But believe me, I play two-player co-op online, and it's already chaos at times. Every character feels right as the older games makes the controls just right for us older players from the past. It does feel sluggish at times, and I wish they implemented the dash for all the characters. Enter Cherry Hunter. She is the evolution of Streets of Rage. She is fast, tough, and has a dash attack, and is refreshing to play. Now, I don't mean she is the only way to play. It's if you want something different and more nimble. The graphics are amazing, bringing the old 16-bit look into today's current-gen technology. The environments and characters come to life with its richness in colors, lighting, and detail. Look closely and you will see reflections, light bouncing off the characters, and more. By far, Blaze and Axel are my go-to characters. But it's definitely a nice change as Cherry does feel right in the Streets of Rage universe. The hit connection is perfect, and the very impact of each hit feels right. I just wish the pipe smashing sound was more pronounced, just like in Streets of Rage 2. Talking about weapons, you can now throw and have them bounce off an enemy and you can catch them at the right moment. If the enemy throws it at you, you can catch it mid-air as well. It makes you feel like a ninja. Be aware though, the enemies can do the same to you. All combos and special moves are there. Even though special moves cost life, you have a chance to replenish it with making more combos. But once an enemy breaks that combo, you lose a chance and life as well. It's nice as you start to implement supers in your combos not worrying about your life bar as long as you're confident that you're on the attack and you never really lose life. You also have a star super where you can wreak havoc on your enemies. These supers are a bit much but a spectacle to see on screen as you can normally defeat the enemies normally with your normal attacks. The music brings back a whole lot of musical artists from the past to ensure the feel remains the same for the Streets of Rage, and they have done an excellent job. This game brings back the old school gaming, but also evolves the system with very small tweaks here and there. 
My only regret is the game is too short. I played all 12 levels in one playthrough in just about 1 hour and 30 minutes. In that time though, it was 100% bliss and all, but I did not want it to end. The game is great and must be played if you like beat em up action at its best. The game earns and deserves a 9.0 out of 10. That's it for me on this episode. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Uh.